Welcome to my lecture online. Now what we're going to do is take a look at an expression like that and simplifying, employing whatever technique we've learned. We probably need to factor out some common factors. We probably need to rationalize the denominator. And so notice that we have the very same problem on the board twice. The way we're going to do this is first we're going to factor something out and simplify as much as possible, then rationalize the denominator. Here we're going to rationalize the denominator first and then simplify Hopefully, we'll get the same answer, and then you can decide which way is the easiest. So here, we're going to first factor out what we can out of the numerator, and notice we can factor out a 3, and we can rewrite this as follows. We can say that this is equal to 3 times the square root of 5, plus 6 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 5, all divided by 9 times the square root of 2. And then clearly you can see that you can factor out a 3 and a square root of 5 out of the numerator. So this is equal to 3 times the square root of 5. And then we multiply what we have left. Well, 1 plus 2 times the square root of 2, all divided by 9 times the square root of 2. And then you see a 3 and a 9 that can simplify like this. And so finally we have the square root of 5 times 1 plus 2 times the square root of 2, all divided by 3 times the square root of 2. And now we'll try to rationalize that denominator, which means we have to both multiply the numerator and the denominator by the square root of 2 and the square root of 2, just like that. Okay, when we do that, we get the following. So here when we multiply the numerator, the square root of 5 times the square root of 2 is simply the square root of 10. So this is equal to the square root of 10 times 1 plus 2 times the square root of 2. So you can see, all we did was multiply the square root of 2 times the square root of 5. We only have to multiply it once, because notice when we have a plus b, and we multiply that times, let's say, f, then this is simply equal, oh no, let me go like this. Um, yeah, let me rewrite this because I want to make it look just like that. So let's say we have a times b plus c, and we multiply it times f. This is equal to a times f times b plus c. We only have to multiply either times a or times a b plus c. We can also say that this is equal to a times bf plus cf. Notice either we multiply the a with f or what's inside the parentheses, but not both. We do the same over here. Notice we're only going to multiply the square root of 2 times the square root of 5 and not what's inside the parentheses. In the denominator, two, the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is simply 2 times 3 will give us 6. So this will become 6 in the denominator and that is in the numerator and that's how we simplify that. So we're going to do the same thing but here we're going to right away multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the square root of 2 in order to rationalize the denominator. When we do that, we get the following. This is equal to 3 times. Here we have to multiply the square root of 2 by both terms. So this times this gives us 3 times the square root of 10 plus 6 times the square root of 20, all divided by 9 times 2. And so when we simplify that, notice that this is 3 times the square root of 10 plus 6 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 5, all divided by 18. And then this is equal to 3 times the square root of 10 plus the square root of 4 is equal to 2, 2 times 6, which is 12 times the square root of 5, all divided by 18. And now we realize that we can factor out a 3. So this is equal to, oh, and we can also factor out a square root of 5 because this is 3 times the square root of 5 times the square root of 2 plus 12 times the square root of 5, all divided by 18. All right, what I can do now is I can factor out a 3 and I factor out the square root of 5. So this is equal to 3 times the square root of 5 times, in the numerator, I end up with the square root of 2 plus 4 all divided by the, the denominator, which is 18. And then, if I then simplify by dividing this by 3, dividing this by 3 to give me 6, then I should have the same thing as I have over there. So this is equal to the square root of 5 times the square root of the 2 plus 4, all divided by 6. But then you realize, wow, it doesn't look like I got the same thing. Actually, it is the same thing, just in a slightly different format. 
So what we can do to make it look like that is we can write this as the square root of 5 times the square root of 2 plus 2 times the square root of 2 times the square root of 2, all divided by 6. If I write it like that, remember that's exactly the same because these multiplied together give me 2 times 2 give me 4 again. But now I can factor out the square root of 2, multiply times the square root of 5, so this becomes equal to the square root of 10 times 1 plus 2 times the square root of 2, all divided by 6, which is exactly the same as what I have over there. So notice, either way, you end up in the same spot. You can first rationalize the denominator and then simplify, or you can first simplify and then rationalize the denominator. Me personally, I like to simplify things as much as possible, and so I would pro probably like to do it this way instead of this way. But it all comes down to personal preference. Either way, we end up with the same answer, and that is how it's done.